what was like for you outside of Nas? You've done some big records with you've done records with some fucking legends. Like what what yeah. what uh is the record that almost happened or that you thought might could still happen in the future that you haven't worked with somebody in terms of just like an artist? Because I know we well, had, we had discussed in the past you had almost did something with Eminem back in the day. Yeah, but today that's crazy. Um, the probably the craziest almost story was Nipsey. Um. Because I had just started working with Scott. I didn't have literally none of these features yet. Right. We just start cooking up. And my partners, you know, that's from the cannabis game. He just randomly brought up like, you know, I'm mad cool with Nipsey and the team. And this is when Victory Lat was everywhere. And right. Nipsey, Nipsey, my favorite rapper, like, especially then, right? That album, like, I was like, yo, Nipsey the one. And um, he's he called him right on the spot. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, you know, we work in this and this and that. Let me introduce you to my guy. You know, so briefly introduced us. We started slowly building that relationship. Never met in person yet. Right. And then he connected me with one of his team members. I send the record over and he hit me back saying, yo, Nip fucks with it. You know, he's down to do it. Um, I'm like, yo, if it's possible, I'm trying to be in the studio. All these features except meth and French. All the other We're ones, in the studio. I was in the studio together. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. It's, it's a different energy, bro. Like, I feel like the Nas record would have been, wouldn't have been that if it wasn't If you together. guys weren't vibing with each other. We on the hook together yeah. and, and shit like that. So, you know, if I can, which nowadays obviously is not easy, especially for like a big artist like that. But anyway, I asked him and he's like, yeah, no problem. I'm going to hit you, you know, top of the week and we set it up. And that Sunday he got, he got killed, bro. Damn. Yeah. Crazy, Crazy. story. Crazy story. Um, so yeah, rest in peace. Rest in peace to But Nip. besides that, yeah, I've been around a lot of people and it's like, um, you know, me and Ross talked about doing something at one point. You know, I learned like, you can't take too long when these opportunities come. Takeoff, we talked about this in the last interview. Yeah. It was a brief convo with Takeoff. It's like, yo, send me something because I had Offset and I had Quavo. Um, I'm like, yo, you're the only Migo I ain't do a record with yet. You know what I mean? He's like, yo, what we doing? Send me something. Right. And, I, and I lagged on it. You know what I'm saying? But it's not just because I lagged. It's like I felt like I didn't have the right record yet. Because mm -hmm. I hate having mediocre records. I see this all the time with a big name. For sure. Happens and you a lot. click on it. It's like, it's cool. Right, 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 it, right. That doesn't do nothing for you. You know what I mean? For your career. It's just but a if waste you have of a, a smash, if you have really something undeniable, and then you have a big name on it, it just helps. Then, then you got something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you have a. This is a one of one jacket you have on. Yes, sir. <laughs> so okay, that, so when Jeff Hamilton, Hamilton, when he does, so how much is this jacket? So basically, uh, this this jacket is kind of a funny story. Jeff Hamilton is my man. Like I, I, I got in a couple of jackets, and I got introduced to him through some mutual friends, and we became homies. And then one day I had a video shoot with Be Real for a song called God Flows. Um, and Be Real Studio is literally maybe a block or two away from Jeff Hamilton's like showroom okay. store or whatever. So I hit Jeff. I'm like, yo, you think I can borrow a jacket for the shoot? He's like, yeah, of course, come through. So I go over there and my boy found this one kind of hanging in the corner. It's like a one of one custom, you know what I mean? He's like, yeah, I did that for a rapper. Um, I don't have to mention him, but he's like, basically he ordered it, but then he never picked it up. You know what I'm saying? $10,000. But he's like, I don't care. To me, my jackets are art. You know, I hang them up. I don't give discounts, this and this and that. So I'm like, cool. He's like, yeah, take it for the video. I'm like, perfect. This is a perfect vibe for the Be Real video. This, that. I went, we shot the video. On the way back, we go to drop it off. My boy's like, the whole time during the shoot, my boy's like, yo, this shit is too fire. Like, I need that jacket, you know? But I didn't think he was serious. Right. We went back to Jeff Hamilton and he he went up to him. He's like, yo, I need to cop that jacket. You know, what's my price? He's like, I really don't give discounts. He gave him like a thousand bucks off. So he paid 9,000 cash on the spot. I'm like, bro. And then he's like, well, every you wore in the video already. So now everybody's going to think I borrowed your jacket. Um, so you, you just got, you got keep it for now. So technically, this is not my jacket, but everyone's going to think it's my jacket. You know what I'm saying? It's like $9,000 jacket. Jesus Christ. Shout out my dog, yeah. Mm. Jeff Hamilton is a beast, though, bro. Oh, every, everything he does, like, every time I wear a Jeff Hamilton jacket, you get compliments by everyone that, well, yo, sick jacket. Sick, you know what I mean? For every sure. time, bro. He's the, 